I looked into Cathy Wood's ARK investment portfolio. 51 out of 225 stocks pay dividends. Watch till the end of the video to see how much money the portfolio receives per year as dividends. Cathy Wood founded ARK Investment in 2014. She was named the best stock picker of 2020 by Bloomberg. But by December 2022, her flagship fund ARK Innovation had lagged behind the S&P 500 for 5 years dropping more than 80% from its peak. And what I haven't invested in it. She is focused in investing in innovation with enormous upside potential. But this type of investing is too risky for me. Yes, you can earn a lot more, but as we see, you can lose almost everything. Katia Wood is also investing in companies that pay dividends. As a matter of fact, they are about 51 out of 225 stocks pay dividends. I'm investing in blue chip companies that even in downturn can't lose so much value. When I looked closely into our investment portfolio, I saw some of the companies that I like and own. There are names like 3M, Nvidia and Microsoft, but there are some that I can't even pronounce. Now let's look deeper into the portfolio. There is only one company that pays dividend and represents more than 1% of the portfolio and this is Nvidia. Katy Wood owns 1.4 million shares of Nvidia which represents 1.6% of the portfolio and pays $220,000 per year as dividends. The second largest is Deer Co, which rates 0.6% of the portfolio and pays $850,000 a year. Give me only this position and I will live of dividends forever. The biggest pair in ARK Investments portfolio is Kamatsu LTD. It pays $1.6 million a year. We also see that there are 3M, General Electric, Microsoft, Pfizer, General Motors, Airbus and other blue chip companies that pay dividends, but they represent less than 0.1% of the portfolio. When we sum up all the dividends that the portfolio receives, the amount is almost $8 million, with assets worth $12.2 billion and just $8 million in dividends. The portfolio has a dividend yield of 0.065%. This is almost nothing compared to the S&P 500's dividend yield of 1.5%, but Wood's main focus is growth, so we can't blame her. I personally try to keep the yield of my portfolio around 4%, but I'm income-seeking investor and my main goal is to live of dividends. This is all for today, so if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you soon, bye bye.